This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Win the aftermath of Derek Chisora's win over Kubak Brulevis. Win. He won. Yeah. He won. Good yeah. He is. Yeah, just sum up your thoughts after that. So chuff for him. It's a fight that could have gone either way, but so have so many that haven't gone his way. It was a really tough, gruelling fight. High maintenance. Um, wasn't pretty at times. Brutal. Pulev cut to pieces. But it was just a war of attrition, and you don't want to have a war of attrition with Derek Chisora. So pleased for him to get the win. Really deserves it. What did you think of the scorecards, Eddie? I probably had Chisora by one or two rounds. I gave him the last round to definitely win the fight, but it could have gone either way. I didn't really get 116-112 anyway. I mean, it was 116-112 on three cards, wasn't it? E either way. So I thought that was a bit wide, but it doesn't really matter. You know, like I said, he's, he's had some tough ones um, go against him, and tonight he got one go for him. Don Charles back in the team as well. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, you know, it's a great win for the team. Um, again, like it wasn't pretty at times, but it's the way that Derek had to win this fight. Pulev was always trying to hold, they were both punching around the back of the head, but uh, Chisora dug deep and got the win. What next for Derek Chisora? I don't know, look, you know, I don't think he's got many left and I think he appreciates that as well. But he's just beaten a top 15. No one can deny Pulev's a top 15 in a world heavyweight. Arguably top 10, so of course he's going to want to continue. Selection of fight, I, I still like the Dillian White free fight because the first two were epic, but you know, I'm not saying that Derek Chisora is, you know, part of that elite crew, but he's still a world-class heavyweight, and there's still big fights out there for him. Could he retire potentially off that? It might be a nice way. I don't think he will, but you know, it's always nice to retire off the back of a win. But you know, we we never really got to see the full Chisora tonight because of the scrappiness of the fight. But we got to saw how tough he is again. We got to saw, see how good his engine is again, and uh, I'm delighted for him. Thoughts on the card? Good. I mean, look, we, we were so unlucky with Madrimov Sorrow. That was going to be such a good fight. I'm so gutted about that because obviously the WBA ordered a rematch. I think they could have let that fight go on, personally, when I saw the cut. I thought Kevin Agyarko boxed really, really well. Ramla Ali, great atmosphere for her tonight. You know, we were screwed over a little bit with Fabio Wardley, but thank you for Chris Healy and coming out and giving Fabio rounds. Solomon Dakers, good eight rounds for him as well in a very tough fight as well. And uh, Ibrahim as well, good good points with him. What happened with Felix Cash, illness? Yeah, he was sick. He, he had breakfast this morning and he threw up everywhere. And then he tried again to eat at 11 o'clock and threw up everywhere. And the doctor just said, there's absolutely no way you can fight. So, you know, he's trained for 12 weeks for this fight. Absolutely devastated. And, and we'll look to slot him in in the... Uh, uh, autumn schedule. Eddie, two things. Now, obviously, the reports about Sky Sports winning the rights for uh, Joshua Usyk too. How many pay-per-view buys do you think it does on Sky Sports box office if it does go there? I don't know. I mean, look, the first fight did, I think, 700, 800, something like that, 750. Um, I think it's a big fight, you know. I, I, a million? I don't think conservatively you talk around the same number as, as before. You know, it's not in the UK. Sometimes that affects the general promotion, but you know the Ruiz fight did well in Saudi, so I, I'm not involved in this broadcast deal situation. I don't think anything's signed yet, but I, I'm just reading like you that, that it's been agreed, so we'll see. You're saying it does less than Joshua Ruiz too? Uh, I don't know. I, I think the pay-per-view market's changed a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, stock hasn't gone down though, has it, Josh? No, I think this is a big fight. I don't know, somewhere between 700 and a million. I, I, no, I yeah. Last one. I'm sure you've seen Billy Joe Saunders' Instagram stories atting no. you. Have you not seen no, them? No. He said, and you need to come back to me right now. I'm going to set someone on you. What's that all about? No. <laughs> um, we've, uh, we're negotiating at the moment with Billy Joe Saunders. Is he just doing his usual wind-up stuff? That's his, that's his uh, negotiation technique. So. Um, listen, we'd love to see Billy back in the ring. We're talking to his team about a December date and uh, hopefully we can make that happen. John Ryder? I don't know whether that's going to happen in December. We'd like to. We'll see how big that fight is. Thank you, Eddie. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.